So uh, I'm really happy to have you guys here. Uh, this is a great opportunity to uh, share a little bit of uh, what we're doing and what we've been uh, up to. So. So Drew, I know uh, you and I, we have uh, talked a little bit about sort of the project that we want to do with the community, especially yep. the Filipino community. Mm -hmm. And we briefly touched on the issue of gout and how important it is and how um, how it's actually affecting people personally. Sure. And yep. I think you can have a, a story to that. So what do you think about the gout uh, as an issue for the community? What are your thoughts on that? I mean, I, I know like, from family history, mm -hmm. uh, two of my brothers yeah. have it, um, and incidentally, when uh, when I turned fifty, <laughs> it crept up on me. Uh -huh. So uh, it's 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 painful, and um, you know, hopefully, this study would um, uh, get us a, a new insight on on how to how to prevent and, and possibly cure this. Right. Uh, disease yeah mm -hmm. absolutely no, that's a, that's a very true and it's a very painful disease once you have it uh, it becomes a recurring issue if we don't manage it well true uh, so that's the that's a concern great uh, and Gerald I'm, I'm so glad you're here uh, yes. and thank you for joining us um, I know and you and I talked briefly about sort of this sort of partnership with the community and I think uh, uh, you brought a really good perspective on on how important it is to bring people especially the Filipino community, into research. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, well, I was, before I started school here at VCU, I was interested in doing research on the Filipino-American community just mm -hmm. to give back, I guess, in a way. Mm -hmm. And when I did like a quick search about what would be needed for this community in regards to research, what we know about it, like on a lot of like databases, I didn't mm -hmm. see a lot of articles specific to the Filipino American community mm -hmm. a lot of times they would be grouped in like a larger like pan-asian type of study and so then when I tried to find any information specific to them it was hard to pull out data that could actually be useful yeah. for like a further study yeah. and then when there were specific studies just on the Filipino American community a lot of them were just about the main like popular mm -hmm. common issues like breast cancer mm -hmm. diabetes hypertension things like that mm -hmm. and so things like gout or less common diseases were often overlooked. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you definitely see the need for, obviously, to, to fill in that gap uh, and, and the issue of clustering the Filipinos under the umbrella of Asians yeah. can actually result in missed opportunities. Sure, yeah. So I, I totally agree, totally agree. Great. Um, so uh, this is for you, Drew. As, so as we move forward with this sort of partnership, um, what are your goals and your hopes are for, for from sort of being a representative of the community and um, and having that university relationship? What are you hoping to achieve from this? Sure. Um, basically, first of all, it's uh, awareness within yeah. the community that this is happening. Like, this is something that that is a game changer. I, mm -hmm. I feel it's it's like. Um, it's it's targeted to the, the community, right. and it's it's this this thing is prevalent in the community. Yeah. So um, you know, I, I guess yeah, awareness and um, you know something that we could we could not only for for this generation, but it could you know for the next generation. Absolutely. So Absolutely. so it's it's more a, it's the legacy of it, you know. Right. So. Right. 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 Yeah, I, I like what you said. It's not about today it's about the future correct yes. and obviously mm -hmm. building for the future absolutely 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 great and and Gerald from your perspective I know you, you're uh, you may not know a lot about gout yourself but what do you think in terms of having uh, a relationship between the community and the university and what the outcomes would be what what are your thoughts on that in terms of what could this partnership lead to it would definitely help bring them closer together mm -hmm. and so um, I feel like a lot of Filipino Americans are a little bit resistant to becoming engaged with like the university and like research clinical trials things mm. like that. Um, I actually used to work for a breast cancer clinical trial in Los Angeles mm. and out of all of the people that we saw we had maybe one Filipino American who enrolled in the trial out of um, like we're aiming for 200 and wow. so like it wasn't that many yet yeah. um, and so by having this specific the study specific to Filipino Americans in our community, mm. it would really engage people, mobilize Filipino Americans to become um, more involved with research and increase their like 
representation. Absolutely. Yeah, just just to add on to that as well, it's it's basically um, if if this is successful, all the other studies, you know, other diseases that might be, you know, uh, could you know, it, it could be a trickle down, Absolutely. right, for, 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 for the next one. Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, you're right, so building that kind of an example that Correct. Can Plus, I mean, you know, this, it's, it's I mean, to me, it's about that trust, right? Mm -hmm. So if we get this right initially, the next one should be easier, Absolutely. right? So Absolutely. Absolutely. No, that, that's a very good point, and that's exactly what we're trying to do, is mm -hmm. we're building that uh, partnership based on trust and mutual agreement and to make sure that everybody knows what's going on, what's Correct. happening, yes. mm -hmm. and you have control over the study or over the projects. So you're mm -hmm. not being uh, told what to do, you actually have a voice. Correct. And Correct. I think that's really the goal of this sort of project and partnership. That is wonderful. So to kind of uh, go back a little bit on, on gout and um, the issue of gout, um, from your perspective, in terms of you know the the disease and the condition, uh, what do you think could be a problem or causing gout to be a problem in the community? Um, I'd say it's genetics in my case. Right, okay. my brother had my my brother had it. My other brother has it. So, I mean, it just like I said when when I turned fifty, it just kind of crept up on me, and I was in total denial about it. I was like, no, it can't be. Yeah. I mean, it's probably like a basketball injury that I yeah. had, but it was. Yeah. It was painful. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, diet might play a part of it, sure. um, you know, um, or or maybe uh, the region where you your family came from in the mm. Philippines mm. might have something to do with it. Right. So, right. It just could be could be any, but yeah, definitely genetics plays a major part of it. That is very that's very true. In fact, that's actually we know to be true across different populations is that not just the Filipinos, mm -hmm. but other populations seem to be also having the same issue and it's mostly attributed to genetics. So you're right, it could be and definitely diet is a big factor as well. Great, thank you for your input. And and Gerald, from your perspective in terms of, you know, having certain prevalence or high prevalence of or of a condition within a community what could be the contributors to that sort of problem that tend to be more unique or more prevalent in certain populations? From my understanding, at least for Filipino culture, mm. uh, there's always a big emphasis on red meat, oh, okay. especially um, whenever my family would give me like vegetarian dishes, it was always just veg vegetable heavy, but there was always meat also right. in it. And so whenever I would give it to my vegetarian friends, I couldn't share it with them because yeah. of that. And so it's just a lot of red meat in every meal and every dish right. kind of thing, which kind of adds to it. And then also, a lot of my family will drink alcohol socially. Mm. And um, like my cousin was telling me how he had a craft beer at a game, and then the next day he developed gout and realized that it was going to be a lingering issue. Wow. And wow. so, um, like every social event, and Filipinos are very social, yeah. there's always alcohol flowing freely, and so yeah. um, alcohol and red meat, and then lack of exercise, and a lot of things like that also, yeah. all these social, cultural aspects kind of play into it. Absolutely. On top of the predisposition, the genetic predisposition. Definitely. No, I, I, think, you, I think you nailed it. I mean, we know that red meat and alcohol are huge, mm. huge triggers for gout attacks, and obviously raising uric acid levels and that can definitely develop into gout. So uh, absolutely, and, and that could be true to the Filipino culture. Mm -hmm. Perfect, cool. So as we kind of wrap it up here, um, I, I wanna give you just an opportunity to share any final thoughts or any um, kind of uh, big ideas or sh sure. comments to share about. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, all about. as far as the community, I mean, um, you know, uh, our organization is really excited about this partnership. Um, it's something, like I said, it's not just for this generation. This could be, you know, lead up to the next generation and trying to prevent this this disease from really like moving forward. Yeah, you know, yeah, so exactly. yeah. um, hopefully, with like I said, with with the study here, we'd help a lot of uh, you know Filipino Americans for for generations to come. So. Absolutely, that's wonderful. That's great, Charles. Any final thoughts on this? I'd like to echo that as well. Yeah, it would be really helpful for future generations, for people outside of just, you know, the Virginia mm -hmm. population. Um, and also it would, uh, I lost track of what I was going to say. <laughs> um, just more information disseminated to the population. Right. Um, that is, like, 
culturally like aware of where it's coming from and right. so that way people can actually resonate with it and understand it and actually include it in their lives versus just thinking that it's like an overarching recommendations right. for just the general population mm. at least this is more specific to our community definitely and yeah. they'll be more open to open to it yeah yeah just 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 to again add on to that i mean you know like gerald was saying that you know the the, the community is sort of uh, hesitant when it comes to these mm -hmm. kind of things. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, if we could design it in such a way that that it's, uh, I would say, like culturally friendly to Filipinos. You know what I mean? It, yes, it's just, yes. You get that attraction. Absolutely. You get that participation. Definitely. So, um, if you know, if we design it in such a way that that it's like that, then yes. we'll we'll get a lot of participation. Definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. I've had a few people back in Los Angeles actually who are Filipino American. And we're very distrustful of medicine mm. people in that culture because of their past experiences mm. with their own family members and medicine like right. um, not having a good experience and so like yeah it's really a lot of reaching out and making sure that you build a relationship upward definitely, um, definitely. and drawing people in absolutely and I and I can you, you guys uh, really uh, can't say any better than what you said it's really about this uh, building relationship building mm -hmm. partnership with the community having the community involved in the research as, as a stakeholder right. and not just a recipient but right, also right. a stakeholder that mm -hmm. makes a huge difference in, in the success and obviously in recruitment and engagement sure. yep. and we're really excited about that well thank you gentlemen for coming here today thank you thank you, sure. yep. thank you for having us